Scorpio, welcome to the Winds of Jupiter, June 2018 Tarot Reading. Now that was some really amazing magnetic field action on that NASA video of the Sun. Those plasma streams that come off the Sun bring a lot of energy into our lives for the positive and the negative. Now you have a good reading here. It's a commanding reading and it has a lot of major arcana cards in it. Now the rune card that you received was Ansus, which symbolizes Odin, the main Norse god of all different things, war, poetry, culture, knowledge, and most importantly, wisdom. Odin brought the secrets of the runes to the Norse, magic letters. I don't think it was an accident that the first thing that God asked Adam to do was to name things. Because words have power. And when you give it a name, it gives it ownership. Now I pulled a Minciati card for you. And this is a deck that I put together that has all of the zodiac signs, virtues, all the elements, chaos, infinity. And you receive fire. That's pretty cool. We're having the solstice now on June 21st. This is a time to actually revel and celebrate. We're going into the time of summer now. Time to sow some seeds. The overall energy card that you receive for this reading is the Nine of Cups, the Wish card. Curiosity killed the cat and satisfaction brought him back. This card is about satisfaction, fulfillment, happiness. This card bodes well with the Ansus rune because the number nine that it signifies represents wisdom. Well, this card really indicates that you have a wish coming up. Maybe a bunch of small ones or one big one. But you have to be careful of what you wish for. And it's saying that there's a good fortune time coming up. A window of opportunity. But really, you have to position yourself to take advantage of these opportunities. You can't sit on the couch and wait for them to come to you. Now, in order to receive some pleasures, you really have to do some work in return. And the cards on the bottom left, for the category of what you know, you receive the Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles. Now the Emperor is the one that tells you to take control. Make rules, regulations, set limits and boundaries. Run your life like a little microcosm of an empire. This is a card about empowerment and taking your own power. You can give your power away, but that's the only thing you can do. People can't take it unless you allow them to. It's time to take a leadership role in your life and start directing things. The Emperor reminds you not to use emotions when you're making decisions, but logic and reason. The other day I was reading about the word reason. And it came from the Latin word for ratio, to measure against something. <laughs> thought that was so strange. But now you have the Seven of Pentacles. This is a card of gestation. It's a card saying that you sowed some seeds. Now it's time to wait for something to come to fruition. You put the labors into it. And it's that tenuous time to oversee things, to make sure that it ripens and it goes to harvest. This card favors enterprises. And with some patience, maybe there'll be some good luck coming from all your hard work with the Nine of Cups there. Now the cards in the center for what is or can be yours is the Magician and the Knight of Pentacles. Got some earth action going on down here too. Now the Magician has given you all the tools that you need to achieve your goals. Obviously you've had some ideas back there because you've sown some seeds. Now it's time to bring things into reality. All knights launch things. Pages bring ideas and knights launch them. Although this knight is the slowest knight in the court. So it's saying that things aren't going to happen overnight. And then again, things that are worthy of working towards slowly enough like that have value. One thing about the magician is, is that Mercury oversees the magician card. And Mercury is about intellect and words and language. And the Magician is saying that you have to utilize words to your benefit. Tell people what you expect of them, as the Emperor would. 
Tell people what your plans are and how you're going to be moving forward. All the magicians that we saw when we were kids always had that wand, and he would say, abracadabra. In Arabic, it means something like, what is said is what is done. All of your intentions now have ownership, and that you're going to be moving forward with them. And that's a good thing, because in your self or self-awareness category next door, you receive strength and the hermit card, two major arcana cards. Strength is a cosmic equalizer card because it's a number eight. It can create or destroy. It's really up to you. It meshes the material with the spiritual, the tangible with the intangible. It's saying here now that you have confidence if you have strength and patience because the Knight of Pentacles also requires patience. Strength is the absence of fear. It really is time to move on. The Nine of Cups is saying there's an auspicious window opening for good luck. But here you have the Hermit. It's saying that you really have to go within yourself to make sure you're going in the right direction. Shining that lamp on your path. Because that's the sun inside of it, the life-giving sun. Illuminating your path to where your feet should go. This is about getting rid of things that aren't serving you anymore in your life. Emotional baggage usually is the numero uno of that one. Now the Hermit is number nine and he's connected to the Nine of Cups card up there for good fortune. So if you think through well and make a management plan and set some objectives and goals, just like the, the Emperor would, things are going to run smoothly. There's going to be luck involved in it. Now you have some interesting cards in the future. You have the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Swords, Justice, and the Chariot. Wow, half of them are major arcana cards. Lots of, lots of long-term things there that are gonna be set into motion in June. Now the Ace of Cups is bringing you a new emotional beginning, tightening up some of the relationships with people, bringing more pleasure into your life opening up opportunities because that is a cup of opportunity. Now the Ten of Swords is a harsh card in its own way. There's been some pain, some grief, things didn't work out quite the way you wanted them to, but with it being a number 10 card, it's saying it's coming to an ending. There's going to be some new beginnings. This card actually indicates a new day dawning. You're rising out of sorrow. And somewhere in the middle of this the Justice card comes into action. When you see the Justice card, it usually says something was out of balance and it's going back into balance. She's holding the sword of truth up for accountability. Maybe there were some things that you did that you weren't too proud of or something somebody around you did that's gonna bring some accountability. There can be some legal actions going on that are gonna go in your favor. But whatever it is now, you have the chariot which is victory over opposing forces, which is what is happening here with these other three cards in the future. The chariot reminds you to have self-everything is what I call it lately. Self-control, self-confidence, self-discipline, self-realization, self-awareness. This is a movement card bringing you forward. The wheels are going around now. You've sown some seeds and you've taken control back there with the Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles. You started some new things, bringing the cosmic energy down to the Earth with the Magician and having earthly qualities with the Knight of Pentacles, but moving slowly because he's tromping right towards the Strength card and the Hermit card too. You've been through a little time of reckoning here in the future with Justice and the Ten of Swords, but at the very end, you're gonna have success and victory and some luck involved. And I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness. Mm -hmm.